Microsoft has acquired Activision Blizzard for an insane amount of $67.8 billion. With this acquisition, it now owns every IP that Activision Blizzard does, including Call of Duty, Overwatch, World of Warcraft, Diablo, and so much more. And Microsoft has said it's bringing titles from the company to Xbox Game Pass. But when? Join us as we give you the rundown on when exactly the Activision Blizzard games come to Game Pass. To start off, what games would be coming to Game Pass? Now that Microsoft has bought Activision, we're at an unprecedented point in the gaming industry. Microsoft now has first party rights to every single game owned by Activision Blizzard, which means if it wants, it can put all of them on Game Pass, their subscription service for Xbox. Imagine getting AAA titles like any Call of Duty as part of a monthly subscription instead of paying the full price each time. Sony is clearly in trouble here, but how would this even work? With the massive catalog of games and franchises that it now owns, will Microsoft be putting them on Game Pass or only selected titles? Microsoft's released statement about the acquisition gives us some clues. It first announced that Game Pass has reached 25 million subscribers and that Activision Blizzard had 400 million players across all of their games, hinting that the latter number will significantly increase Game Pass subscribers. This is them strongly implying that a lot of the games it brought will be coming to the service, but the next part of their statement changes things. Microsoft said that it will offer as many Activision Blizzard games as we can for Xbox and PC Game Passes, including both already released titles and future games that Activision Blizzard puts out. So that means that not every single game will be coming to Game Pass. This was sort of expected. I mean, Microsoft was probably not going to make a subscription-based game like World of Warcraft suddenly free on Game Pass because that would be very expensive in the long run. But what about the newest Call of Duty games? Will that be free on Game Pass from day one? Only time will tell. One thing's for sure, this sale could turn Game Pass, which is already a pretty sweet deal, into one of the best subscription services out there for both Xbox and PC. Next, when will they come to Game Pass? Okay, so not every game from Activision Blizzard will be making its way onto Game Pass, but of those that will come to the subscription service, when? We will be seeing, say, the next Call of Duty game, Modern Warfare 2, launch on Game Pass from the first day? Well, it's complicated. While we don't have an exact date for when the Activision Blizzard games will start going up on Game Pass, we do have an idea if we look back at the press release from Microsoft. It mentions that it'll make the games available as soon as the deal closes. What this means is that while the sale is technically confirmed, it still has to go through all the paperwork first before it's actually official. That means waiting for things like approval from shareholders and regulatory review to complete before Microsoft fully acquires Activision Blizzard. If everything goes as planned, this deal is set to be finalized in 2023 fiscal year, which started on July 1st and ends on June 30th, 2023. So we probably won't be getting Modern Warfare 2 at launch, but the deal will definitely be confirmed by the time next year's Call of Duty game comes out. So if Microsoft plans to put it on Game Pass, we should have it in our hands on day one. But what about exclusivity? So we should start seeing the first Activision Blizzard game on Game Pass sometime in the first half of 2023. But what does this deal mean for players of these games on other platforms like PlayStation and Switch? Microsoft hasn't said much so far, but according to a report from Bloomberg, Microsoft's plan is to keep making some games by Activision for PlayStation, but also plans to make some games exclusive to Xbox. This understandably made PlayStation players concerned, but Phil Spencer, the CEO of Microsoft Gaming, gave an interview with with Bloomberg that was supposed to quell these concerns. Spencer said that Microsoft's intention wasn't to pull players away from other platforms. It's important to note that this Bloomberg report has no mention of the Nintendo Switch or Microsoft's plans for that platform. While Spencer's words are reassuring, the company's actions after past acquisitions raise some questions. When it acquired ZeniMax Media back in 2020, the parent company of Bethesda, its games became Xbox exclusive. So games from beloved franchise like The Elder Scrolls and Starfield were only being made for Xbox platforms. But Phil Spencer announced when it bought ZeniMax that they'd be decided on a case-by-case -case basis on whether
whether or not it's making games from the companies it now owns exclusively on Xbox. So it's not like Microsoft went back on its word or anything. So if Spencer's words were anything to go by, for now gamers from other platforms won't need to worry too much. Imagine how crazy it would be to see Crash Bandicoot become exclusive to Microsoft. In other related news. First, no more Xbox 360 games on Games with Gold. Microsoft has announced that it's not going to be adding more Xbox 360 games to Games with Gold. The Xbox Live Gold feature that gives subscribers free games every month, the company announced the change in an email to subscribers, warning players that Microsoft has reached its limits on its capability of offering Xbox 360 titles. This is following a similar announcement earlier when Microsoft expanded its backwards compatibility program by adding 76 more games. It's said that the company is having trouble adding more titles from the console because of various technical and legal reasons. It makes sense because while all the games with gold Xbox 360 games are playable on the newer consoles, the 360 itself is almost 17 years old now. Of course, any games you've already downloaded for Xbox 360 using Games with Gold won't be affected. The announcement is part of a series of changes to Xbox Live Gold, which is still pretty popular despite the release of Game Pass. Microsoft actually tried to increase the cost of the service last year, but Backlash forced it to reverse that idea, and the company even made online play free for free-to-play games. Microsoft is also slowly ditching the branding of Xbox Live, as it now refers to the collection of its online services and software as Xbox Network instead. Next, Microsoft might be bringing back a beloved Xbox series. The Xbox 360 was a game changer when it came out. It was indisputably the king of its console generation and gave PlayStation a run for its money for the first time ever. Even now, it remains the best-selling Microsoft console in history. Part of the reason for its unprecedented popularity was the huge library of Xbox exclusive games coming out at the time. Entire franchises like Halo and Gears of War made their home on the console. So if you wanted to play those games, the 360 is what you had to buy. A lot of these franchises have continued to put out new games for the newest console generation, but in the transition, some have been left behind. One of these dormant franchises is Viva Pinata. Viva Pinata was a fan favorite series on the 360 when it launched, but sadly for fans, it never made its way to Xbox one or even the series s or series x but it turns out that might be about to change apparently microsoft has recently renewed its ip trademark for the viva pinata series sure this could mean nothing companies renew trademarks all the time just in case they decide to do something with them in the future without having any current plans but in order to renew a trademark you have to prove you're still using it in some form there are other ways of proving this without making an entirely new game but still it could mean microsoft is planning to return to the franchise. If a new Viva Pinata game does come out, it probably won't be made by Rare, the original studio for the series, since it's busy with Everwild and Sea of Thieves. So it'll probably be given to a different studio to make. Finally, Microsoft has confirmed that Xbox will be at Gamescon 2022. Gamescon is a video game conference where a lot of different developers announce new games and showcase trailers and gameplay. There's a lot of hype for these events, especially for E3 and Gamescom. And Microsoft has released a statement saying Xbox will be present at Gamescom in Germany this year. So we can expect a lot of new announcements and trailers. In the statement, the company said it will be focusing on games coming to Xbox in the next 12 months. Microsoft has used the next 12 months phase before for the Xbox and Bethesda games showcase, where it revealed updates on already announced games coming soon rather than trailers trailers for far off titles. That's a wrap for this video. When do you think Activision Blizzard games will be on Game Pass? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.